On today's Screen Rant, we're going to deal with something meant for newer players. What is a tabletop RPG? RPG, or role-playing game, for many of you gamers out there that have tried to explain what this is to people not familiar with the concept, this can be quite the challenge. Especially since most gamers will often go into a long explanation that will just confuse or bore the person trying to understand what it's all about. Your past adventures, crazy things that you've done. Meanwhile, they are still trying to comprehend what it is you're doing. Are you just talking to yourself in the room? What's going on? Firstly, let's try to explain it in its simplest technical terms, and we'll move on to something a bit of a, a better explanation. So, most tabletop role-playing games, or RPGs, are games where all but one of the participants in the game assume the, the role of a single particular character, personality, or role as part of an interactive story. The final participant takes up the role of the rest of the world, story, monsters, your grandmother, and all the other characters of the story. The game is played within a particular set of rules to determine actions that are accompanied by dice to create a semi-random chance of success. Much of the actual game is played verbally, in an imaginary landsca landscape without much physical representation. So how was that? Did that explain it all to you new people out there? Great video! Done! <laughs> uh, wait, what do, you, what do you mean that just confused you more? Uh, okay, um, let's let's try this again. But maybe this time we'll try to talk more like a person. Uh, an RPG is all about a group of people getting together and basically taking place in the same type of epic storylines that you'd find in a great book or a cool movie. Each player takes on the role much like an actor takes on a character in a movie, except you get to write your own lines and actions. I bet a lot of actors wish they could do that. One of the people playing takes the leadership role of the game. This is usually called the Game Master, Dungeon Master, Storyteller, etc. Basically, think of this guy as the primary writer slash director of the movie. He controls the other characters, the monsters, the triple-breasted horror of Eroticon 6, and the plotline, even the very world itself. The Game Master sets up the basics of the story the players are going to play in by creating plot points and encounters, but that doesn't mean the player characters are always successful. That's where the game part of the RPG comes in. The game itself is controlled by a set of rules. Each player probably has a sheet of paper with various aspects of their characters written down as according to the rules system. Then, using dice, the player will roll and see if they're successful at the task they're trying to achieve. Not all tasks need a roll of a die. If your burly orc wants to ask the tavern keeper for a mug of ale, you probably only need to say this in your burly orc voice as part of your acting, and it'll happen. But if your big burly orc attempts to punch that tavern keeper in the face until his head explodes in the sheer awesomeness of your blows, well, that you might have to roll for. Sounds silly, doesn't it? Bunch of grown adults playing make-believe around the table. Aren't you too old for this? No, not at all. Actually, from everything that we found, it's actually very healthy for adults to participate in this level of fun make-believe. It's something we really probably shouldn't have given up as kids. It helps you work through social interactions with others, problem-solving skills, quicker math reactions, tactical thinking, etc. In the end, is it much different than a bunch of writers and actors sitting around the table getting ready to make a movie? Also, it's not unusual for a single session to last three to eight hours at a time, depending on your group. Those are hours of constant social interaction and fun that cards and board games can't quite achieve, and sometimes the Game Master stories could take years to finish, even if you play every week. For those of you wanting to try this out, go check out some of the local gaming stores in your area and ask if they know of any role-playing groups. Ask if you can just sit in for a session or two. Most of those groups will probably even invite you to play with them and try it out. So what is an RPG? An RPG, in essence, is a group of people creating a memorable story together. It's a group experience with random aspects of an actual game. And it's damn good fun. Is it the perfect explanation? Probably not. But I'm just hoping this helps to introduce a few new people to the hobby. So, have a good one, eh?